Welcome to the Blue Sky Plan screen overview tutorial. We are going to start by taking a look at the panoramic view in the bottom right. The panoramic view displays vertical slices going buckle lingual. We are able to flip through those slices by using the up down arrows to the right of the view or by grabbing the slider and moving it with our mouse or by rotating the wheel on the mouse. We are able to change the distance between each slice by clicking on the top right icon and changing the step distance. The default value of the step distance is set to 1 millimeter. so each time we click on the up down arrow we will view one slice one millimeter away. Please note that as we click on the up arrow our middle yellow panoramic curve moves accordingly. It's indicating for us along the horizontal axial plane the exact location of our vertical panoramic slice. The inner and the outer panoramic curves in our axial view indicate the inner and outer limits of our field of view. We are able to change the field of view by clicking on the top right icon once again and changing our panoramic width. Clicking on the second icon from the top on the right side, we're able to change to a panoramic composite view, which often represents how an x-ray will look. Some doctors find this useful to toggle back and forth between a composite image and an individual slice image. We can note that our middle panoramic curve indica indicating the exact horizontal slice has disappeared because we're no longer looking at one slice, we're now looking at a composite view of all the slices together. Clicking on the third icon, the MIP, shows us our composite image with maximum intensity projection and you could turn that on and off by clicking once on the icon. Moving along to our axial view, the axial view shows us horizontal slices stacked like a deck of cards. We're able to flip through those slices by using the up down arrows to the right, like once again we could s grab the slider and move that, or we could use the wheel of our mouse. Please note that as we flip through these slices, the blue horizontal line in our cross sections and panoramic view moves accordingly, indicating for us on a vertical plane the exact location of our horizontal axial slice. Our cross section view once again shows us vertical slices and instead of being similar to the panoramic in the sense that shows us buccal lingual slices this shows us vertical slices going around the ridge of the patient. When we flip through the slices we can note the five multicolor lines in the axial and panoramic view are moving accordingly indicating the location of the five slices that we're viewing in the cross sections. The top left image corresponds to the leftmost colorful line. The bottom right image corresponds to the rightmost colorful line and the middle images corresponds to the middle colorful lines. We have our 3D image. The slider on the top is our 3D density threshold. As we raise the threshold we see less anatomy, we see only the more dense anatomy. And as we lower the threshold we see more anatomy including the less dense anatomy. For complete information on how to use the 3D view and all of its functions, please watch the 3D tutorial. Each view can be enlarged to take up the entire screen by clicking on the black box in the top right of that particular view. The view can be returned to its place by once again clicking on top right image. This concludes the screen overview tutorial.